A powerful roar echoes through the air and the king of the jungle starts our journey. Hello and welcome to the channel. Imagine a vast savanna, a place where the golden grass dances under the warm African sun. Here we find the lion, an embodiment of majesty and power. This regal creature with its amber eyes and a mane that frames its face like a fiery halo is truly a sight to behold. The lion's habitat is as dynamic as its character. The savanna, an endless canvas painted with hues of gold and green, is their kingdom. It's a world where every day is a battle for survival, and the lion, with its strength and cunning, reigns supreme. Now let's delve deeper into the very symbol of the lion's power, its roar. The lion's roar isn't just a sound, it's a message, a declaration. When a lion roars, it's not merely making noise, it's communicating, marking its territory and asserting dominance. The roar of a lion can be heard up to five miles away. Imagine that, a sound so powerful it travels five miles, resonating through the air, shaking the ground beneath. It's a testament to the lion's strength, a sound that embodies the spirit of the wild. But the roar serves a purpose beyond just showcasing power. It's a crucial tool for communication within the pride. A lion's roar can convey messages, summon the pride, or signal a warning. It's a language understood by every creature in the savanna, a language that says, here, I am the king. A lion's roar can be many things, a call, a challenge, a warning, but above all, it's a testament to the lion's indomitable spirit, its raw power, and its place as the king of the jungle. As we journey through the realm of the wild, Let's carry with us the memory of the lion's roar. It's a sound that echoes across the vast savanna, a sound that symbolizes the heart of the wilderness itself. The lion's roar, a majestic sound symbolizing strength and dominance. From the mighty roar we transition to the melodious chirping of a variety of birds. In the grand theater of nature birds are the virtuosos, their songs filling the air with a symphony of sounds. Each bird, whether it's an urban sparrow, or a forest-dwelling nightingale, has its own unique voice and melody, an identifier as distinct as a human fingerprint. Take the songbird for instance. These feathered maestros possess an intricate songbook, with melodies serving various purposes. Some tunes are the equivalent of a hearty good morning sung at the break of dawn. Others are love songs, serenades intended to woo potential mates. And then there are the warning cries, alarm calls that signal danger to their fellow birds. Now let's listen to the robin, its song, a cascade of sweet high notes, is often associated with the arrival of spring. Robins are among the first birds to sing at dawn, their melodies a charming wake-up call to the world. Next we have the blackbird. Its song is a rich, melodious warble, often heard in the late afternoon and evening. Blackbirds sing to mark their territory, ensuring other birds know who's boss. And then there's the nightingale. Known for its powerful and beautiful song, the nightingale often sings into the night, a solitary serenade that's captivated human listeners for centuries. But what about the crow, you might ask? While its caw might not be as melodious as the songbird's tune, it serves a crucial function. Crows use their calls to communicate within their family groups, sharing information about food sources and potential threats. Birdsong is a complex and fascinating language, a form of communication that's as diverse and varied as the birds themselves. It's a testament to the rich tapestry of life on our planet, a sweet symphony of voices that speak to the heart of nature's beauty. Birdsong, a sweet symphony of nature's music. Leaving the birds behind, we enter the jungle to hear the lively chatter of monkeys. The jungle filled with vibrant greens and the rich aroma of earth, is home to these fascinating creatures. Amidst the towering trees and lush foliage, monkeys swing from branch to branch their agile bodies moving with remarkable ease. The chatter of monkeys is no mere noise. It's a complex language, a symphony of hoots, grunts and screams, each carrying its own unique meaning. A low grumbling hoot may signal alarm or danger while a series of high-pitched squeaks could indicate excitement or playfulness. At times their chatter can even resemble human laughter, bringing a sense of joy and liveliness to the dense jungle. Each sound adds a layer to the living, breathing symphony of the jungle, creating an enchanting harmony that echoes amongst the trees. The monkeys chatter, a lively conversation in the heart of the jungle. From the treetops to the ground, we find the snake hissing in the undergrowth. Despite its reputation, the snake is an essential part of our ecosystem, blending seamlessly into its surroundings with a grace that's both eerie and fascinating. It thrives in a variety of habitats from dense forests to arid deserts and even in our backyards. 
But what about that unmistakable hiss? It's not just a sound, it's a language. A snake's hiss is its voice, its tool for communication. It's a clear-cut warning, a sign that we're too close for comfort. It's the snake's way of saying, I'm here, and I mean business. While it may send shivers down our spine, for the snake, it's a necessary part of survival. So, the next time you hear that sibilant hiss remember it's just the snake's way of maintaining its personal space. The snake's hiss, a warning sign in the wild. As night falls we hear the haunting howl of the wolf. A wolf's howl is more than just a sound, it's a conversation, a beacon, a call to arms for the pack. It's a voice that carries over the vast expanses of the wilderness, echoing through forests and rolling over mountains. But what is the purpose of this eerie song? Why does the wolf howl? Residing in diverse habitats from the arctic tundra to dense woodlands, wolves have always been creatures of fascination. Their strength, agility and intelligence make them one of the most respected predators in the wild. Yet, it's their distinctive howl that sets them apart. The howl of a wolf is a complex form of communication, much like our own languages. It's used to assemble the pack, to rally the troops for a hunt, or to signal danger. A wolf's howl can also be a declaration of territory a stern warning to potential intruders to stay away. Each howl is unique. Wolves have their own individual voices and accents, making it possible for other wolves to identify who's howling. It's as if they're calling each other by name. This individuality in their howls strengthens the bonds within the pack and reinforces their social structure. However, the wolf's howl has a more profound, almost mystical significance as well. For centuries, it has been a symbol of wildness and freedom, a soundtrack to the untamed wilderness. In various cultures it's been associated with strength, loyalty and spirit. Yet despite its chilling beauty, the wolf's howl is also a reminder of their struggle for survival. With habitat loss and hunting, wolves are facing challenges that threaten their existence. Their howls echo with a plea for understanding, a cry for conservation. As we explore the fascinating world of wolves, let's not forget their howl. It's a beautiful symphony of nature, a testament to their resilience and a plea for their survival. The wolf's howl, a chilling call of the wild. With the dawn comes the busy buzz of bees. As the soft light of morning breaks, a symphony of tiny wings begins to play. Bees, nature's tireless workers, start their day. These tiny creatures, with their unmistakable buzz, are more than just insects. They are key players in our planet's ecosystem, flying from flower to flower, pollinating as they go, and in the process, playing a vital role in the life cycle of countless plants. You may wonder what's that familiar humming sound all about? That's the sound of a bee's wings beating incredibly fast over 200 times per second to be precise. This speedy wing movement creates the bee's characteristic buzz, a sound that's music to the ears of nature lovers. But it's not just about making a noise. This buzz also serves a particular purpose for the bees. When a bee finds a flower full of nectar, it buzzes in a special way known as a buzz pollination. This is a unique way of shaking the pollen off the flower. The vibration from the bee's buzz causes the pollen to explode off the flower, which then sticks to the bee. This pollen is then transported to the next flower the bee visits, ensuring the continuation of the plant species. But the bee's buzz isn't just about work. It's also a form of communication within the hive. Each buzz can send different messages to other members of the hive, such as the location of a new food source or a warning about a nearby threat. So the next time you hear the busy buzz of bees, remember it's not just a sound, it's a testament to nature's incredible design, a symbol of the intricate interconnectedness of our ecosystem. It's a sound of hard work, a sound of communication, a sound of life continuing its cycle. The buzz of bees, a sound of productivity and life's sweetness. From the buzzing of the bees we transition to the calming whistle of the wind. The wind, an invisible force of nature, possesses its own unique voice. It whistles through the trees, rustles the leaves and carries the songs of the world on its invisible currents. The wind's whistle is the world's oldest song, a melody played on nature's own instruments. The rustling leaves, the swaying grass, the whispering reeds, all brought to life by the wind's gentle touch. Its song is ever-changing, adapting to the landscape it traverses. From the soft murmur in the valleys to the mighty roar atop the mountains, it carries stories from far-off places, whispers secrets to those who listen, and sings a lullaby to the world as the day ends. But the wind does more than just sing. It also plays a crucial role in the ecosystem. It disperses seeds, helping plants to spread and grow, and it helps to pollinate flowers, complementing the work of the bees. 
The wind also helps to regulate the Earth's climate, distributing heat and moisture around the globe. So the next time you hear the whistle of the wind, take a moment to appreciate its song, its stories, and its role in our world. The wind's whistle, a soothing song of nature's harmony and balance. Outro. Thank you for joining us on this auditory journey through the voices of nature. We hope you've enjoyed the sounds and the stories they tell. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more adventures in the natural world. Until next time, keep listening to the world around you. And remember, every sound has a story.